It's been about a week now playing with this GoPro Hero 13 Black and I think now I'm ready to make my pros and cons video about it. Hello everyone, I hope you are all good. In today's video we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of this GoPro Hero 13 Black. We've seen lots of videos about it and lots of hype about this camera, lots of bad reviews, lots of like disappointed reviews. In today's video I'm going to give you my experience with this GoPro Hero 13 Black. It does not have only cons, it has some pros, I'll talk about them as well. Actually I was so excited about this camera and I was hoping that GoPro will finally wake up from their deep sleep to create some camera to compete with the DJI and Insta360 action cameras. And I placed my pre-order when this camera was announced but few days later I started to see some disappointing videos about this camera even from sponsored creators on YouTube and that made me change my mind and try to cancel my pre-order. I thought it was cancelled but then I got an email from GoPro saying that your camera is ready to be shipped, we couldn't cancel it, you can take it, you can use it for 30 days and then you can return it back. So that's what I'm doing. I got this camera, I tested it and I made my thoughts, my own thoughts about this camera besides everything we saw on the internet. So I built my own thoughts and my own opinion about this camera based on my personal experience with it for the last couple of days. And since I have this camera, I compared it with the DJI Action 4 and the Insta360 Ace Pro. And I was somehow surprised by what I got with this camera in some scenes, in some situations but the overall experience wasn't so good. It feels exactly like the GoPro Hero 12. We have the same sensor, the same processor. So for this reason, I will not keep it to compare it with the DJI Action 5 Pro that's coming out in tomorrow, I believe. And of course, I will not compare it to the Insta360 Ace Pro 2 that will be released next week according to the latest rumors. So I'm going to pack this camera to send it to GoPro because my overall experience wasn't so positive but this camera has some good stuff let's talk about them before talking about the cons as i just said this camera has the same exact sensor as the gopro hero 12 we have the same exact processor as well and by that we can literally see that this camera can perform really well when we have enough light and the image quality was really nice even in 4k or in 5.3k I got some great images. The colors in standard profile, if we have enough light, were natural, were very appealing and I liked them. And the image stabilization is amazing on this one, like all the other action cameras in these days. Add to that, the back touch screen of this camera of the GoPro Hero 13 Black is very responsive. I remember I had issues with the touch screen of the GoPro Hero 12. With this one, it's really, very nice and very responsive and I can access everything easily. I really like this touchscreen. It's way better. We have huge improvements in my opinion comparing the GoPro Hero 13 Black touchscreen and the GoPro Hero 12 touchscreen. For vlogging I noticed that the built-in microphone of this camera is very good. If we are vlogging at approximately arm length, we can get great audio with this camera with the built-in microphone with minimum to no post-processing with the automatic mic settings on the camera. We can get some great audio coming out of it. And that's for me something very interesting because these days we would like to vlog more and we need less gears with us. So having a camera, if we have good light, we can vlog with it without issues at all. Keeping the camera at about arm length, um, I can assure you really that you can get great audio even in automatic mode with this camera. And unfortunately, that's everything I found interesting in the GoPro Hero 13 Black. It's a good camera. It does not fit my needs. It does not have its place in my workflow and in my camera backpack. Let's talk about the cons, right? The first thing is the magnetic quick release here. Although it's something very new on this camera, we didn't have this before. We had these 
flippy GoPro feet here with the quarter inch thread. But last year, Yulanzi and Telesen they made for 15 US dollars a base plate, if we can say that, for the GoPro that we can we can replace the original one on the GoPro and we can use the magnetic quick release of the DJI Action 3, Action 4 camera on it. So for only 15 US dollars more. This one is already included here, but it does not have the same shape and the same layout of the DJI Action camera. Of course, they are competitors. The problem is that GoPro did not add a magnetic quick release base in the standalone version. We already pay a lot for this camera. I was expecting to have it in the standalone version. While DJI, they have it. Insta360, they have it. Of course, they do not have the built-in feet like this one. They have the cages and so on. But they have the quick release because if we want to use this one on many mounts, we need that quick release. And by that, we have to buy several ones of them, several quick releases from GoPro, and each is about maybe 25, 29 US dollars. So that will add up at the final invoice, at the final price of the camera, in my opinion. The second thing that I didn't like on this camera is the exchangeable lenses. I really don't understand how these lenses can fit in a workflow. I don't see anyone using an action camera to make some macro shots in manual focus. I don't see anyone using an action camera for some anamorphic shots with the anamorphic lens that is not released yet. I, I don't understand the use of the wide angle lens because this one has a very wide field of view. So having a wider one, well, it's not something that personally I will use and I'm sure that lots of you will not use it. But I know that lots of people will get the GoPro, will get all the lenses just because they are fan of this camera and it's a nice camera. It does not fit in my workflow as I just said. But I don't see any interest of these lenses on an action camera. Having maybe an exchangeable lens to be able to put in the filters, that's fine with me. But having this one that we can change and it's really very hard to remove I don't see any interest of having the macro lens, the, the extra wide angle lens and the anamorphic lens on this one. And what drives me crazy is that every single lens that you can buy for this camera is no less than 100 US dollars. So if you will buy these lenses, if you will buy some magnetic quick release mounts here, then the invoice will be very huge and with the same price you can buy easily a Pocket 3 from DJI, you can buy maybe some ZV-E10, some ZV-E10 Mark II, some ZV-1 Mark II, so some good cameras to vlog and to use in your daily content creation rather than having this GoPro. If you'd like to use it just for action shots, that's fine, but once again, you don't need the anamorphic shots, you don't need the macro shots, and you don't need the extra wide unless you are doing some bike ride and some snowboard and this stuff. But the wide angle of this one is very impressive why you need the wider field of view. Let us not forget to talk about the batteries. Because these are new battery patterns for the GoPro Hero 13 Black. And by now you know that if you have some older versions of GoPro cameras, you cannot use the older batteries on this one. They are not reversible, so you cannot use this one on the older cameras. And you cannot use your older batteries on this camera and that means that you have to buy extra batteries if you want to buy the GoPro so that's why once again this is a money trap to grab your money as simple as that they changed many things on the camera in order to let you upgrade in order to make you buy new stuff for this camera to make it better and to use it in, in more scenes for example the magnetic door here that you will buy in order to be able to charge the battery while the battery is inside of the camera this is something very nice but once again it's not in the box you have to buy it separately and that will add to the final cost of this camera and that's what i don't like look for example for the dji action 2 action 3 action 4 and the upcoming one the action 5 pro they have the same mounting systems they have the Action 3, Action 4 and the Action 5 Pro will have the same exact battery layout so you can use these batteries. Even if we look for the GoPro previous generations, 
they have the exact same accessories that they you can use on all of them now with this one you cannot use what you had before you have to buy new stuff and that's once again a money trap that gopro is using is applying in order to get more money from you but i think they should more work on their cameras rather than on how to get more money from consumers by the way i had about only one hour of runtime using this battery in 5.3k and i was not shooting all the time so it was only one hour of runtime and it does not support fast charging so that's a bummer once again you have to buy more batteries if you want to use this camera more often or you have to buy the magnetic here door here for the battery but once again this is a money grab a money trap that's why for me i didn't like it i said in the pros section that this camera has great audio capabilities with the built-in microphone the built-in microphone is quite impressive and according to how i used it i really liked it and i tried to use the bluetooth capability now to connect it to the dji mic 2 and i didn't like the result i prefer honestly to have this camera without a wireless microphone to vlog with it without a wireless microphone that would be much easier and way better audio quality than having the dji via bluetooth connected to this one this is an audio test i have one dji mic 2 connected via bluetooth to the gopro hero 13 black and the second dji mic 2 is not connected via bluetooth i'm recording internally on the microphone so you can see the difference between the audio coming from the mic itself or via bluetooth on the gopro hero 13 black test test audio one two three test audio abc this is an audio test with the bluetooth mic this is an audio test i have one dji mic 2 connected via bluetooth to the gopro hero 13 black and the second dji mic 2 is not connected via bluetooth i'm recording internally on the microphone so you can see the difference between the audio coming from the mic itself or via bluetooth on the gopro hero 13 black test test audio one two three test audio abc this is an audio test with the bluetooth mic this is an audio test i have one dji mic 2 connected via bluetooth to the gopro hero 13 black and the second dji mic 2 is not connected via bluetooth i'm recording internally on the microphone so you can see the difference between the audio coming from the mic itself or via bluetooth on the gopro hero 13 black test test audio one two three test audio abc this is an audio test with the bluetooth mic and now this is the audio coming directly from the GoPro Hero 13 Black without the mic 2, the DJI mic 2 connected via Bluetooth to the camera. What do you think about the audio now? There is another option where you can use the Wireless Pro from Rode and use the timecode on this camera and on the Wireless Pro in order to sync them. But that will mean that you have more steps to do in post-processing if you'd like to get some clear audio with this camera. And I can understand that you cannot use any wireless Bluetooth microphone with this one because some protocols can change from a brand to another and imagine between DJI and the GoPro. It was the same issue with DJI and Insta360. We didn't have good audio quality coming from the DJI mic via Bluetooth to the Insta360 Ace Pro. And I think this is not something that GoPro can improve but what they can improve is to have maybe their microphone or to have this USB-C here capable to get audio so you don't need to go via the media mode in order to plug a 3.5 millimeter cable to get your audio with any microphone that you have and by the way if you use the media mode with this camera and you plug a microphone or even if you didn't plug a microphone you will lose 
the waterproofness of the GoPro. Keep that in mind because when you have the media mode, you have some open ports on it, so it won't be waterproof anymore. That's something to keep in mind. When I first got the camera, I used it to make my vlog test. You can go watch it here. I didn't have any overheating issues whatsoever. I was shooting in 5.3K in log mode in standard profile and the total runtime was about one hour. I didn't film for an hour, but it, the camera was on for about an hour. But the next day I had some overheating issues with the camera. I was shooting in 4K 60 frames per second at about 14 minutes. This camera overheated and it turned off. And that's not something that you would like to have with your camera. I was not shooting in log. I was not shooting in 5.3K. I don't know what was the problem. And then I started to search for this issue on the internet and I came across a text saying that this heat, this pattern that we have here on the front side, this grill here, is not a heat dissipation unit as I thought it should be. This is I think just uh, something for the design to have something new on their new camera. They removed the speckles, the blue speckles, and they added this one here. They enlarged a little bit the screen here, not the screen, but the glass of the screen. And this is the only change they did on this camera, in my opinion. I thought this one really should help in the overheating issues, but apparently it does not. It does nothing to have with overheating. It's just a piece of plastic for the design, and that's a shame. And in the end, you know that I care about low light performances because I live in a city in France where in the winter season it gets dark early. So I need a camera so I can use it outdoors when I'm doing my vlogs, when I'm doing some b-rolls and so on. I need something that can be used in these conditions. This camera is the worst camera in today's action camera market compared to the DJI and to the Insta360 Ace Pro when it comes to low light performances. So this one might not be your camera if you'd like to shoot in low light, but for those who'd like to shoot only action shots in daylight when they have much light around, this camera can perform well. Keep in mind that you have to buy lots of batteries and you won't get great audio via Bluetooth. That's something that you have to consider if you are thinking about this GoPro Hero 13 Black. And voila, these are the reasons why I don't recommend this GoPro Hero 13 Black. I wish that GoPro teams, engineers and developers will wake up because it, it is the right time now to wake up to prepare something for September 2025. By the way, I don't know why all the action camera manufacturers, they release their cameras in the end of the summer or in the autumn season. For me, this is nonsense because the summer season is the season where everyone is out, where everyone is on vacation, where everyone needs a camera to go to film, to record some shots with it. I don't know why they release the cameras after the summer vacation. If someone knows the answer, please write it down in the comment section below. So GoPro, you have to wake up because it's time to be able to compete again and maybe to get back the market you were leading a few years ago. And since the DJI came out with the Action 2, you started losing in the market and now you have DJI and Insta360. So you have to wake up to make something to start from scratch. You know that you have issues with your cameras and you know what was working on your competitors' cameras. So now you can make something that is worth buying because really I'm not regretting at all to send it back tomorrow to get back my money so I can use my money on some other stuff more interesting and more useful. I'm sure that there are people there, they like the GoPro system and they will buy this camera but I'm sure that the majority of the people will not buy this camera if it's their first action camera. They will go with DJI or even Insta360. They will not get this one. And those who already have a GoPro, they already have been facing some issues on their GoPros. I'm sure they want all of them upgrade to this camera. So this is something very important for you GoPro to, to know and to hear from the consumers to start making something from scratch because 
I think you are capable to make great action cameras next year. So that's it for today. Now I'm going to pack this camera and send it to GoPro. And voila, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and see you in another video very soon. Ciao for now.